We continue to follow the impact of unemployment fraud on residents here in Southern Colorado. News 5's Patrick Nelson able to get some answers from the Colorado Department of Labor and Employment. The scope of the unemployment fraud is shocking. I've been able to confirm state leaders believe since the start of the pandemic, they've had to deal with more fraudulent unemployment claims than real ones. Take a look. The Colorado Department of Labor and Employment believes more than $6.5 million has been paid out in fraudulent unemployment claims since the beginning of 2020. 1.1 million suspected fraudulent claims have been filed since the pandemic began, compared to 1.04 million legit claims that have been filed and processed. But the state estimates that it did prevent over $7 billion in suspected losses, which require further investigation. For people that need that legitimate money, they're kind of getting lost in the shuffle. So, you know, the, the you know they're getting those legitimate letters and emails and things, but but there's so many different pieces of communication that are going out. There, you know, they're, the general public's maybe unsure of what's legitimate and and what's not. Here's some of what state officials had to say about the fraud. Quote. We cannot discuss open investigations, but generally speaking, we have seen actors both in the state and abroad. We work with local, state, and federal law enforcement programs and leverage national fraud databases to detect fraud rings as we move through the prosecution process. Most of these cases will be handled by the U.S. attorney. One way that, that the consumers can try to protect themselves uh, is to really just do some research and make sure that those sites and those correspondents are legitimate. The .gov is always a sure bet because those are all managed by government and municipalities. So make sure everything in that stem is .gov. You know, any links, any engagement you see within that email, hover over it, uh, maybe right click it and just make sure, because a lot of times what they'll do is they'll use an imposter where it'll look like a .gov, uh, but when you click or, or hover over it, it'll be some long stem leading you to a to an imposter site. The CDLE went on to say, quote, from January 24th, when we launched ID.me through February 8th, we sent out 69,707 emails to potentially fraudulent claims, asking them to verify their identities. Only 14,362 claimants have completed the process to confirm they are who they say they are, end quote. I had viewers reach out to me who say they actually received some of these emails from the state, but they weren't sure if they were real or fake due to the high volume of fraud. To help walk you through this process, you can head to our website, koaa.com, where you can find resources and helpful links to help you if you've been targeted by one of these fake unemployment claims or if you're still trying to collect those unemployment benefits. Always watching out for you. Patrick Nelson, News 5.